You know, I've stated it many times that Oprah seemed to only want to partner with white folk. But it was the black community who made her who she was, and black Chicago in particular. And I'm going to keep repeating that. Because for some reason, black people feel loyal to this woman when this woman have done nothing but insult in our community and put out misinformation. You know she's partnered with Apple, right? And also, she's working with Jennifer Aniston and she's with Witherspoon on some TV project with Apple. But also, it just announced that she's partnered with Prince Harry about mental health. Now, here it is. You've heard black people over the years, uh, uh, doctors, You've heard black people talk about mental health issues with our community. But no, she's going to go work with Prince Harry. She didn't work with no black doctors or psychiatrists. Matter of fact, Taraji P. Henson had been talking about this for a while. But she said, no, nah, let me go, go work with Prince Harry. This should prove to y'all this woman has nothing to do with the black community. This is why it's time to boycott Oprah. If you got to boycott Apple in the process, do it. I know a lot of us got iTunes. But we don't have to support anything that Oprah Winfrey do on Apple. Oprah doesn't do anything with the black community, but she can sit there and be critical of the black community. And she's done this time and time again. And nobody seems to want to call out on it. Why do you sit back and you have such hatred? I mean, I understand that's rhetorical. That black people have some hate. But my thing is, it was us that made who she was. And I have to keep reminding people, a lot of people don't know her origins. Yes, she was a reporter back starting out. But it wasn't she got to the second or large, third largest media market, depending on how you look at it. She was a nobody. If Rob Weller didn't decide to take that job and entertain tonight, and nobody at ABC7 wanted to host that local show, because they figured it was beneath them at that point. Give it to the new chick. Give it to the black chick. Nobody will watch it. It'll be council or it'll get just enough ratings to just be a local show. But because it was another black woman doing it, she was an oddity. And because the ratings, thanks to the black community, yeah, white folks watch it, but it was the black community that put her over the top in Chicago. This woman has nothing to do with us. She's condescending and she's insulting. And what she did to Brother Michael last month, riding to the court. What her and Gail King did to R. Kelly, riding to the court. They, they went out there and they took their markers, go out there and destroy these Negroes. Regardless if they made, of these two men made poor choices of who they surround themselves with, or who they engaged in intimate contact with, still, Oprah and rehashing stuff that we know in 20-some, 30-some years. Oprah has never partnered with a black woman before. Here it is, Kathy Hughes started her own radio station, grew TV One, before Oprah even went in to say, you know, let me go work with Kathy Hughes. Or let me go work with, with uh, the, uh, Johnson Publication over at Ebony to save a magazine that had me on a cover for years that was giving me press. And she said, I don't need Ebony, let me go start my own magazine. And don't get me wrong, everybody wants to start their own. But the thing is, she still partners with other people, but she never partners with the black community. But yet, it's black folk that was defending her. When Monique, uh, 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 Ray Don Chong, myself, and others was warning about Paul Moon, he's like, Oprah's a rat. Of all people, she go partner with Prince Harry. She, then she goes around, partners up with, uh, with, with, uh, with Reese Witherspoon. They out here talking about black men, making jokes. It's time to boycott Oprah, folks. It's time to let her know that she is not going to going, going to continue to, to give the middle finger to the community. And anybody around her, her, her friend Gail is another one. It's time to boycott them. We're the only group of people that keep supporting people in our community to give us the middle finger. These Negroes make, make, they, make they millions off us and they get in front of mixed company and they make jokes and mockery of us. Oprah had a show on for 30 years, and in the last uh, 15 or 16 years of her show was dedicated to white celebrities and making white folks comfortable. But then again, she did say to Barbara Walters she wanted to be white. She wished she was white. When Jay, I'm not a fan of Jay Z. But why didn't Oprah partner up with Jay Z and he's doing his thing? But she goes partner with Apple. 
She could have probably with some young tech, some some, some young said, okay, you know, I worked in the news industry. I'm going to look for young talent, whether they agree with me or not, to form my own company. No, nah, she won't do that. You would think after that cattle scare with all them Texas cattle, she would have been like, wait a minute. Nah, she further into. She goes on. She goes on Trevor Noah, a uh, 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 black a South African, and talk about a black American male who's been under attack for thirty years and then even in death. Why well, did this? Because I did over two hundred and seventeen shows. But when Todd Bridges is on there, you treat him when he says about being molested. You're like, yeah, whatever. Oprah does not like black people. I hear y'all keep saying she don't like black men. Yeah, she don't like black men, but she don't like black women either. She used black women and, and the, the, the maintain. And black gays and black women or these simply these, these weak ass black men didn't watch their own network, it would have folded. Remember white folks licking their chops. Uh oh, Oprah's not she don't have to go to touch. Remember when white watch start losing money, how they were talking about it? They want her to fail. But right now, they say she still they can still make money off her. All the young black talent in Hollywood, the Gen Xers and the Millennials, she don't work with them. She go work with, 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 with Reese Witherspoon and them, Jennifer Anderson and them. It's time to boycott this gal. Oprah is the, is the personification of black self-hatred. A lot of the things that people phrase and the things people use. Remember, she told the female basketball team at Dunn Imus, Forgiveness is healthy. You should forgive. But yet, turn around and want to blame black men for all the ills, knowing damn well that we didn't create these ills in our community. It's time to boycott Oprah. Mute Oprah. Boycott whatever term you want to use. Boycott her in any of any her endeavors. She's a user. She's an opportunist. She's no earthly good.